Hello, this is the second part of the tutorial on how to build frog forms or quizzes. So I am in my um, drafts area where are my stuff and there's my demo form quiz folder so I'm going to go in there. This is what we've done so far. So we've done radio buttons and um, checkboxes. Not very good questions, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm going to edit this document. So we're just going to have a quick look at the different types of questions that you can put in from here. So the first one I'm going to do is um, the text box. So I'm going to drag this in here. Um, you have to give it a label which will be the question. Um, so uh, let's see what I'm going to call this. So I'm just going to call this question, who is your favourite Olympian? And you can see it appears there and the question is in the same small text that so is a default text for all of the form stuff. Remember this was a text and pictures brick um, so I could change the size and um, uh, the formatting of the text. Um, so all the, the, the um, recipient of this quiz would um, put in here is the name of uh, of who it is that they like most in the Olympics. You can see here we've got a little bit of um, play with the width of the pixels so if I go and uh, change this 250 to 500 for example you'll see I can make it a required question here and I can put a default answer in um, which I'm not going to do and you can see the box has just changed and that squashed that up so I'm because it's in a column so I'm going to put that back to 250 because it sat much more pleasantly um, in, in the layout um, so that's uh, the text box um, and then we have sorry here we have the big text box okay so in the big text box um, I'm going to do um, another kind of question so I'm just going to ask them to explain their previous answer like so and you can see again we have problems with the layout so these things don't just sit nicely in one place and then the other and they kind of go a little bit it's according to the length of the text that you put in here um, when you go back to edit these um, what's happened now is that the database entry has been created so you can no longer edit this text at the top um, so this is similar to um, one of the questions we were doing earlier I think on the, the radio uh, sorry the checkboxes um, and again you can put a default answer in and you can specify the height in this case so we'll just go and change that so you can see what's going on um, and you put a default answer and we have it as a required question or not click on OK so you can see the height of this box has changed um, completely might make it easier depends on how much you expect the individual to write um, so we've done so that's the form container that's the little text box that's the big text box radio buttons oh, sorry check boxes radio buttons and now we have a list so let's go and play with the list um, label um, so uh, pick your favorite so this might be a better um, this might be a better way to put um, uh, to set a list um, to, to do this question who is your favorite Olympian you might want to pick from a list of 10 for example I'm going to double click this to set my list now I'm going to pause while, um, oh, yeah I'm going to pause while I set this out so all I'm doing here is similar to the radio buttons um, I'm adding um, different possible answers to my list um, so I think I'm just going to go for the last one which is the Maitre. I think these are all the people I've given them all the score of one so they're all equally valued um, and click on add again I can move these up um, and down I could put them into um, alphabetical order for example um, and uh, like so nearly like so um, if I wanted to um, again you have this uh, score instead of option value I'm not sure what that means but um, we'll see and like so and then we've got a height for the list which I'm going to set at 10 just to see what happens click on OK so we scroll down and there you can see the list is there so the list length is obviously completely out so I'm going to put in um, just one and click on OK and then it is quite nice and it will when we preview that um, hopefully you'll be able to see that that's a drop down box like so this box is obviously a bit big but again it would encourage the person to write the right amount of text if you're doing a lot of these you might want to review the layout of your page um, and because obviously this is um, going to sit um, quite narrow um, have we finished let me have a look so we again container text text checkboxes radios uh, list and then hidden I have no idea what this brick does so maybe I should find out and then come back to the video 
Okay, as far as I can work out, um, the hidden brick doesn't do anything that I can see, and it's not in Frog's tutorials on their website, so we're going to leave the hidden brick alone. The submit brick, I've shown you um, the username, is this, I think, it's just the formed diary. I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to look at it. Form file select, I'm not going to look at that. And then form results, I show you that in part three. So I'm going to publish an exit here, and hopefully all be well. And there we go. So that's what the quiz looks like um, at the moment. I've just seen on from Frog's website there are ways of changing these um, these fonts. So I'll have a look at that and see if I can update this. Okay, I think I found out how to change the size of the, the default size of all of this text, so it looks a bit better. Um, so you can see here under page settings you have colors and fonts and we're going to override the template which is um, uh, frogs basic and then we're going to do text color so I'm going to change the text color to red um, and we're going to do font size is double XS so I'm just going to put it onto medium um, ruler line color scroll bar color we'll have a nice red again we'll have a darker red maybe I don't know um, and then the links are in blue um, and that all should be fine you can set a background image um, you can change the default heading stuff and the heading component this is exactly what it comes up at the beginning and menu bar I'm not going to do anything with that so I click on OK and there you go so everything looks a bit nicer now so what we could do now is um, just try so you can see how it might display better than this so I've just removed the whole form container out of this uh, first column and put it on the page itself and then in the form container itself I'm going to right align everything I am going to right align everything like that and click on OK like so and then you can see if I take this and because this is outside of the forms as it were click on OK um, you can see that everything looks a little more um, even now and this box makes a lot more sense so if you were going to write bigger questions at least all the answers are um, at 250 aligned to the right and it all makes a little bit more sense in that way um, so if we publish and exit that and then go and have a look at it and there's the quiz so you'd embed that quiz into another page um, to do what you needed to do um, so that's it. So we've created our form. Um, I showed you. I'm going to show you in the next tutorial page how to go and create um, the Olympic quiz receipt, which is just the page that displays after the person presses submit.